हेलो या नाउ इट्स ओके कुल नाउ इट्स ओके या ओके सो गुड इवनिंग I'll start Inisit Predator session on uh, Inisit model questions and different topics. Many people already start answering. It is B B B. But before that, the important thing we should know about different type of motility. When this type of question comes, when this type of question comes, Ballantidium coli, it exhibits what motility? It exhibits a typical motility called reversion motility or football motility. reversion of football motility spirilla minus it exhibits a typical motility called spirilla minus is what motility shooting star motility or darting motility borrelia exhibits lashing motility and some of them exhibit corkscrew also listeria which exhibits stumbling motility okay so the answer is dhba okay d H B A. So everybody knows the answer here is B is correct. B is correct answer. Very good. And you should know about other motility also. Jerky motility, trichomonas, tumbling motility. Okay. Corkscrew motility, spirochetes mainly. Twitching motility and jerky both are you can see trichomonas and twitching motility we can see in Bartonella also. Bartonella, Neisseria, not due to flagella. Swarming commonly seen in Proteus. Many people, Vibrio parahemolyticus, Burgholderia pseudomaly, Campylobacter jejuni, Clastridium tetani. Many people exhibit swarming type of motility. Great, I'm so happy. People answering beautifully. Next is, yeah, an organism is isolated from a case of necrotizing enteritis. so after reading the first line your mind should go what causes necrotizing enteritis necrotizing enterocolitis and enteritis necroticans these people caused by clastridium perfringens you are aware of that following colony morphology in bladegar as shown in the image under anaerobic condition yes it is anaerobic bacteria this is a colony it exhibit typical colony morphology what is this hemolysis called this hemolysis we called as target hemolysis or double zone hemolysis we have target or double zone hemolysis it possesses two type of hemolysis this is alpha hemolysis and this is beta hemolysis it exhibit bit two type of hemolysis because of the we call it as double zone hemolysis alpha hemolysis and beta hemolysis so if you see exactly if right correct way first first it sorry multa um, i'm writing this is beta hemolysis this alpha hemolysis first beta clean zone clear hemolysis clear hemolysis and this alpha partial hemolysis you are aware of that alpha partial beta clear you know that is a beta hemolysis followed by alpha two zone it's called double zone hemolysis or target hemolysis okay what are the toxin causes is very important beta hemolysis caused by a toxin called beta toxin beta hemolysin is a beta toxin it possesses almost eight type of toxin alpha beta gamma theta eta like that alpha caused by don't not alpha theta toxin theta toxin alpha lecithin is your perfect 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 theta toxin so this target hemolysis due to beta and theta beta and theta 
okay see here not alpha and beta my dear uh, that is confuse you that is the what that's why i made this question it is alpha and theta sorry uh, beta and theta it is beta and theta toxin it is beta and theta toxin everybody think alpha beta no that is not the correct answer it confuse you be careful beta hemolysis by beta toxin alpha hemolysis by theta toxin alpha hemolysis by theta toxin alpha theta beta beta alpha hemolysis hemolysis alpha but toxin is theta hope you people understand this so learned a new point okay next is yeah we are getting many questions like that match the following because if you know everything then only you can answer if they ask only one thing you can answer if suppose if they make it only one question plasmodium what is the infective stage you can easily answer here you need to know everything and you need to see the question from eagle's eye view for example plasmodium what is the infective stage infective stage for plasmodium is sporozoid it is sporozoid so one answer is d one answer is d second schistosoma what is the infective stage schistosoma infective stage is cercaria is it penetrate the skin penetrate the skin two answer is c number 3 diphyllobotrium let me you got is fish tape worm infective stage is pleurocercoid larva pleurocercoid larva three answer is h leishmania the infective stage is promastigote sand fly bite promastigote four e d c h a everybody answered beautifully answer is a you are correct your people perfectly right and another important thing we should know cord nucleate cyst is infective stage for we need to go another way cord nucleate cyst is infective stage for entomy bagistolytica jardia those conditions entomy bagistolytica jardia those conditions amastigote is not infective stage it is a diagnostic stage it is ld bodies in leishmania sporozoite okay hexacanth egg is infective stage in three areas one is hymenolepsis nana echinococcus granulosus dog tape worm antenia solium it causes neurocystis sarcosis eating hexacanth egg yes yes bradycyst it is diagnostic stage in toxoplasma it is diagnostic stage in toxoplasma so you should know all stages whether it is diagnostic stage or infective stage if you know the infective stage please side by side you know the mode of transmission for example uh, cercaria mode of transmission is skin penetration cercaria mode of transmission is skin penetration sporozoite mosquito bite mosquito bite promastigote sand fly bite and pleurocercoid larva ingestion eating fish eating fish i got a question from dr anshika joshi what is the infective stage of uh, toxoplasma sir all three stages are infective in my notes if you see first point i tell two points about toxoplasma my notes if you follow my notes first two points it is the one and only protozoa which infect all the nucleated cells second point this is the one and only protozoa all the stages are infective 
toxoplasma infective stages are all the three tachycyst bradycyst and oocyst all three are infective stage in different mode if you see the life cycle you can understand okay hope you understand this question very good brady meat yeah next is people remember thank you next is Yes, six to ten year old woman presents to the clinic with lacerated wound on her left forearm. Sometimes question may be very huge. They may be uh, drag you, okay? Highly time consuming. You need to read very fast. You need to take decision very fast. She got accident accidentally when she slipped on her garden and sc scraped her hand against some nails sticking on out of fence. She had some injury and some rusty material affected her nails. Okay, in the fence, she cannot recall her vaccination history. That means something related to tetanus. On physical examination, blood pressure is one forty ninety-five, heart rate is eighty-one, respiratory rate is sixteen, and her temperature is thirty-six point three. The wound irregularly in vitals are not much significant. The age of sixty-two. The wound is regularly shaped and lacerated and measures four to five centimeter depth of point five centimeter. it is contaminated with dirt that is important they give beautiful clue it is contaminated with dirt okay the physician decides to administer both tetanus toxoid and immunoglobulin after wound treatment okay so wherever contaminated dirty wound number 1 number 2 one and only place one and only place contaminated dirty wound no previous history of vaccination not able to recall or if they, if they not able to recall they say don't know that means you take it as advantage they are not vaccinated not previously vaccinated contaminated dirt wound you need to go for vaccine plus immunoglobulin that is the one and only condition you are going to see vaccine and immunoglobulin tetanus toxoid and immunoglobulin you are going to give both so there is no headache for you already the physician take the decision the physician took the decision tetanus toxoid and immunoglobulin okay after wound treatment what is the true regarding tetanus prophylaxis of this patient tetanus prophylaxis patient it does not make sense administer tetanus toxoid it will fail induce sufficient immunity in a patient who takes glucocort no the people who take oral glucocorticoids not a contraindication you can give even though the patient may be some immunosuppression they need definitely immunoglobulin is given to this patient promote action of toxoid and antibody production no the immunoglobulin never promote the action of toxoid it promote the it produce immunoglobulin we are giving immunoglobulin that's all it never promote the immunoglobulin pro production it never promote the toxin even if you prolongly give immunoglobulin that will suppress the immunoglobulin production okay third immunoglobulin administration will provide sufficient level of anti tetanus toxin antibodies until the production of patient's own antibodies that is a beautiful reason you people are aware of that why we are giving immunoglobulin because if you give the vaccine it take one week to produce antibodies the vaccine will the vaccine will work it need one week our body should produce antibodies meantime the spread of the infection will be contained by ready made immunoglobulin monoclonal antibodies that is the reason we are giving immunoglobulin and you should not give immunoglobulin more than a week because after one week later our immune system itself producing antibodies if keep on giving immunoglobulin that will prevent uh, suppress the antibody production so immunoglobulin as early as possible within one week after one week later no use of anti antibodies okay it does not make sense to administer tetanus toxoid it fail to induce sufficient immunity more than no it's not like that just because of age it cannot uh, suppress or it cannot uh, produce uh, insufficient antibodies not like that okay see this picture this picture will help you okay see carefully if the patient with contaminated wound no history of previous vaccination 
you need to give no history of previous vaccination you need to give two things vaccine and tetanus immunoglobulin you need to give tetanus immunoglobulin vaccine already vaccinated in case of contaminated wound five years five years suppose previously vaccinated okay previously the person is vaccinated clear minor wound if they say within 10 years no need of vaccine within five within 10 years there is no vaccine you can give only vaccine yes manoj kumar we should give immunoglobulin and vaccine together only immunoglobulin no use immunoglobulin ready made one week it can prevent the infection after one week our our body produces antibodies because of vaccine if you give the vaccine then only our body should produce antibodies that is the best but that one week period infection should not spread it should not cause disease because of that we are using vaccine we are using vaccine okay we are using vaccine got it next is so what is the answer c is the answer next is yeah i made lot of questions like this because we need to practice everybody know the subject man but in the exam hall without tension you need to make the correct answer you need to write the correct answer and uh, respective quality control agent general microbiology in sterilization and disinfection quality control agent first you should remember plasma sterilization quality control agent is geo basal stereothermophilus and we are also using it for autoclave autoclave next is ethylene oxide is bacillus atrophius subspecies globi g bacillus atrophius subspecies globi g a so 1 h 2 a you need to remember like this gamma rays is bacillus pumilus any radiation bacillus pumilus 3 b and seeds filter any filter is seresia marsessens 4f sorry seeds filter seresia marsessens okay f h a b f okay answer is d beautiful answer by beautiful people answering i'm so happy nicely answering and brevendi monas diminuta also filtration seeds filter comes here also brevendi monas filtration brevendi monas diminuta also but that option is not here fourth one there is no c option is here no problem mycoplasma number just the name borrelia burgdorferi just they gave the name just to confuse you okay brevendi monas diminuta also for filtration okay seeds filter and uh, another one is uh, seresia marsessens so these two are correct for filtration but op option is here only f is there okay so you need to choose sometimes don't get confused easy good next is yeah 56 year old nri male whenever the question comes nri male the disease may not be in india or he may be acquired the disease at uh, abroad like that that is indirect clue nri male presents with low grade fever chills left sided pleuritic pain and cough some respiratory problem two weeks duration after returning from arizona something related to arizona he was prescribed antibiotic for possible pneumonia yes symptoms persist several weeks which point chest radiograph ordered showed several opacities in his upper left lobe biopsy was taken one of the opacities shown in the image that's all beautiful diagnosis you can easily diagnose what is it see carefully here you can get what spirule you can get spirule which filled with endospore spirule filled with endospore 
we call it as coccidiasis immitis spirule with endospore coccidiasis immitis beautiful answering and it not in india it's a dimorphic fungi fungi not in india and it is otherwise called it's commonly seen in arizona mexico and san jacun valley and also california and lab diagnosis if you take the biopsy you can see spirule with endospore beautifully the picture is there if you take the culture it is like this if you take the culture we call it as arthrocnidia arthrospore joints you can get arthrocnidia or arthrospore so by seeing the spirule with endospore and it is arizona not in india pneumonia you can go for it it causes desert rheumatism desert rheumatism blastomyces you can see broad based budding cell figure of 8 histoplasmosis you can see macrophage inside the macrophage is cells paracoxidio you can get uh, pilot wheel appearance or mickey mouse appearance and this is coccidia coccidiasis immitis and the disease is called coccidiomycosis we call it as coccidiomycosis next is yeah this another thing choose the correct statement regarding nigeria meningitis so you should know a a to z that is a little tough point if you know a to z of the bacteria only you can answer other question and all if you know one point you can answer if you know one stump you can answer here you need to know everything don't underestimate this yes paracoccus shama ratheria paracoccus it south american blastomycosis right see carefully here it is facultative intracellular no it is extracellular so first option is wrong wherever one is there you remove the choice that is another clue you can remove this common cause of neonatal meningitis no neonatal meningitis caused by b e l and k bulk group b streptococcus escherichia coli listeria and india klebsiella these people so two also not correct wherever two you remove this so this may be the answer <laughs> but you should be uh, careful kidney shape diplococci no it is lens shape diplococci kidney shape is gonococci kidney shape is gonococci it ferments maltose yes and possess polysaccharide capsule yes that is a important virulent factor important virulent factor is a polysaccharide capsule and it ferment maltose so answer is 4 and 5 you need to derive the answer like this you need to derive the answer like this okay next is see the question itself okay question itself people become scared don't worry every line gives one clue to you when you will see the last line you should get the answer you, after the last line you get the answer here and search that is the good way don't see the answers and select something you see the answer here okay your brain should say something you just check where it is in the screen that's all 19 year old woman presents to the emergency department with complaints of blurry vision and headache 
that started two days ago anything meningitis we don't know just we'll check okay she reports that she has been experiencing some facial pain that's another clue <coughs> but thought it was related to her toothache loosening tooth toothache and facial pain she is also worried about black spot increasing size on her face since last month black discoloration what else you want what else you want my dear loosening of tooth facial pain blurry vision and black discoloration of the face diagnosis over she expresses concern about her frequency of urination that means runny nose cough resolves spontaneously and patient was diagnosed with diabetes mellitus type 1 at the age of 13 years iddm so it may be diabetic patient that's all non smoker and drinks beer occasionally her blood pressure is 122 or 98 and uh, temperature is 37.2 physical examination normal with the exception of black necrotic scar lateral to the right nasal ala that's all they keep on giving answers to you not only one clue Fifth, 10 clues they are giving she lost 2.7 kg diabetic ketoacidosis or patient with diabetes black necrotic scar hr black discoloration facial pain blurry vision headache what else you want okay and is the office positive for glucose and ketones your urine routine diabetic ketoacidosis what is the most likely cause of this patient symptom that's all it's called mucormycosis that's all direct question the question is huge but nothing if you know nothing basalis anthracis produces hr they may confuse you histoplasma capsulotum mimic like tuberculosis aspergillus but it never produces uh, necrosis it's angio invasive but no necrosis so it's a typical mucormycosis the disease is called this is called black fungus but it is not black fungus it never produces any uh, what is called black uh, pigments it the, it is not a pigmented fungi it have hyaline hyphae aseptic hyphae vertical branching aseptic hyphae vertical branching okay yes you are right diabetic ketoacidosis think most common fungal infection if severe this kind of manifestation is mucor another one is diabetes mellitus uh, another one is candida you should not forget candida also diabetes means candida severe diabetes diabetic ketoacidosis and invasive this kind of manifestation black discoloration go for mucor go for mucor good next is choose the correct statement regarding influenza virus influenza virus so you should know about a to z of influenza virus it is segmented rna virus correct but it is enveloped so option is wrong wherever one is there remove that it is enveloped okay enveloped eight segments present in rna yes you are right so wherever two is there you pick wherever two is there you can pick my hand it says gloves to avoid heat and it unnecessary touch things so i'm wearing some gloves it's a drawing gloves okay thank you thanks for concern exhibits von magnus phenomenon yes what is von magnus phenomenon increased hemagglutinin titer with low infectivity increased heme agglutinin titer with low infectivity we call it as we call it as von magnus phenomenon it's seen in influenza 2 on 3 are correct treatment oseltamivir yes currently we are using oseltamivir and zanamivir so and antigenic drift leads to pandemic no which leads to pandemic my dears antigenic shift antigenic shift leads to pandemics not antigenic drift antigenic shift is sudden severe 
and uh, there is a mutation in the matrix protein unpredictable non periodical okay so two correct three correct four correct b is correct even if one doubt comes von wagner's phenomenon yes or no your answer will be different okay so be careful you should have some suppose if you do one or two points you can get the correct answer but you should know very strong with the, what you know okay suppose if you think one is correct then automatically you will stop here so some basic points you should know it is non enveloped virus it is enveloped virus so a non enveloped is the wrong answer wrong option okay great shift very good very good people beautifully shooting next is yeah okay just a minute yeah 45 old man comes to the office with groin pain and swelling about a month ago okay he noticed an ulcer on his penis but didn't not seek any medical attention because the ulcer was not painful and disappeared within a week okay several days ago he began to experience with painful swelling in his inguinal region with inflammation of overlying skin and eventual formation of several draining ulcers that's all bubo that is called bubo he developed bubo sexually transmitted infection bubo okay it's a common feature of lgv many people causes bubo okay lgv is one among the common even hemophilus decrey also okay painful ulcer painful ulcer shanker shankroid causes he also <coughs> has mild fever malaise begin around the same time groin symptoms the patient is a sailor his other medical problems include well control hypertension and hyperlipidemia cell scrapings from his lesion show cytoplasmic inclusion that is another clue cytoplasmic inclusion see klebsiella granulomatis also causes it produces donovan bodies clue cells clue cells hemophilus decrey it produces shankroid painful but no inclusions it never produces inclusions herpes simplex it produces painful ulcer ulcer not a lymph node enlargement and all painful ulcer and it produces intra nuclear inclusion bodies intra cytoplasmic inclusion bodies produced by chlamydia trachomatis lgv lymphogranuloma venerum we call it as miyagawa bodies miyagawa bodies miyagawa bodies very good anishka joshi beautiful beautiful miyagawa bodies chlamydia trachomatis excellent miyagawa bodies okay answer chlamydia trachomatis next is yes choose the correct statement regarding stongloid stercorelis then you need to know a to z of stongloid stercorelis then only you can answer diagnostic stages again the stool no what is the diagnostic stage diagnostic stage is rabrity from ralva rabrity from larva in the stool diagnostic stage infective stage is filari from larva yes yes mode of transmission skin penetration wherever one i will remove wherever two i will choose treatment ivermectin yes 2 3 <laughs> it causes larva external reinfection no it causes auto infection that's called internal auto infection and external auto infection it causes internal auto infection and external auto infection internal and external auto infection 
okay internal as well as external auto infection it causes larva occurrence yes cutaneous larva migrants okay it never causes external reinfection okay it causes internal reinfection also so it causes auto infection plus internal reinfection it never causes external reinfection okay but external auto infection it causes it causes external auto infection i have been avrat it all thank you okay i'm i'm seeing the chat box going so what is the answer four is not correct so wherever four remove that so answer is a answer is a okay answer is a diagnostic stage uh, sorry infective stage is failure from larva treatment ivermectin and uh, it causes larva currents 2 3 5 great 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 next is come on 30 year old man comes to the physician because of 3 weeks history of swollen and painful knee and toes he also uh, has some low back stiffness that was in the morning he has been treated recently conjunctivitis c painful knees and toes arthritis conjunctivitis also described uh, uh, onset of urgency clear urethral discharge clear urethral discharge and dysuria and started 5 weeks ago he is sexually active and has monogamous relationship with the same person for past 2 years vital signs normal what are the following is patients more like found in this history which of the following is most likely to be found in this patient's history the patient is having writer's disease writer's syndrome can't see can't pee can't bend the knee okay it is called reactive arthritis he is having reactive arthritis urethritis conjunctivitis anticlimax so it is caused by no no nigeria gonorrhea causes septic arthritis see please remember nigeria gonorrhea commonly affects women that also septic arthritis septic arthritis here here it is reactive arthritis be careful see this is called reactive arthritis agents causing chlamydia campylobacter e coli salmonella yersinia clostridium shigella and clam uh, it's actually b27 associated it associated with actually b27 it is called reactive arthritis i cannot see eyes are gone cannot pee no urine and cannot climb a tree he cannot climb the tree because joint pain joint pain can't see can't pee can't bend the knee okay see carefully here now answer is now you can tell what is the answer it is not virus it is not borrelia this not nigeria it is campylobacter not only campylobacter any other uh, e coli shigella those kind of people Campylobacter, E. coli, Shigella. See the list. Yersinia, Salmonella, Chlamydia. Those people. Those people. So after reading the question, ninety percent people because of sexual arthritis, people go to Nigeria. Nigeria is the most common cause of septic arthritis in young women. Septic arthritis in young women, sexually active women. i will accept okay got it these are all the common agent joshua okay all right next is hla b27 associated next is listen yeah another tough thing okay multiple true or false legionnaire's disease again you should make it right or wrong okay it can be acquired by drinking 
drinking infected water no it is by inhalation where first is true remove this smokers are more susceptible true smokers are more susceptible true most causes are sporadic true hyponatremia is typical true it produces hyponatremia okay it causes hyponatremia it may cause sometimes rigors true okay so answer is b f t t t t you must know this you must know this you must know a to z of the disease then only you can answer suppose it may cause rigor you have the doubt probability will be different automatically will go for c option may cause rigors if you think it is false so easily it will confuse you these kind of questions you need to know everything then only you can answer not just just because of i know or uh, uh, two points three points difficult okay right next is Thirty year old PLHV. HIV means we remember opportunity infections. Man admitted with complaints of headache and blood vision. Always HIV, headache, blood vision. Think of CNS problem. Mainly CNS problem for HIV people. Cryptococcus, Toxoplasma, and the JC virus that's called progressive multifocal leukemia and cephalopathy. These kind of infections only mainly. So these are all come to your mind within fraction of second. Physical examination reveals papilledema and ataxia with skin nodules. Skin nodules, skin lesion with meningitis. It's cryptococcus. You can consider histopathological skin biopsy reveals pathogen shown in the image. See, we can see the pathogen followed by broad capsule. See, budding yeast cells with capsule. Everywhere the capsule is there. See the organism. Beautiful capsule is there. You have lot of capsule. It is cryptococcus. No problem. Among the following diagnostic tests, which one is most rapid, sensitive, and specific? It should be rapid. Within few minutes, we can diagnose. It should be sensitive as well as specific. Culture is gold standard on bird seed agar, but it take forty eight hours. S D also forty eight hours. Music or mint stain demonstration of capsule. It is not much sensitive. It may be specific. not much sensitive the most sensitive and uh, specific test is cryptococcal antigen reduction by latex agglutination cryptococcal antigen reduction by latex agglutination test okay cryptococcal antigen reduction by latex agglutination test okay latex agglutination test Next is okay. Next is listen to me. Multiple true or false again. Again, multiple true or false. Rabies vaccination. Yeah, they can play with you. Be careful. Rabies vaccination. should be given annually to dogs in endemic areas yes where dogs are there in endemic area we need to give annually this vaccine next is may be usefully given many months after exposure there is no time limit even after 2 3 months later also we can give the vaccine you should not deny the vaccine because of time post exposure vaccine is unnecessary if pre exposure vaccination is given no if the person already have pre exposure vaccination suppose i am a dog trainer i took the vaccine if dog bites me i need to do the titer i need to take vaccine to protect me just because i already vaccinated i least bother means no they will develop rabies so it is not at all necessary okay so this is true this is true this is false specific rabies immunoglobulin for human use may be prepared from horse serum yes 
hyper immune serum it is unnecessary after cat bite no except it is all warm blooded animal bite all warm blooded animal bite we need to use all warm blooded animal bite we need to use this but as per government guideline in india it is not for rat it is not for rat bite in india not other countries in india because india the uh, rat bite rabies is very very rare because of that they gave sir please explain big fan sir my first prep sub was my you know i got my seat in james in nagpur thank you thank you thank you okay sir explain statement to shivam nagpal please remember may usefully be given many months after exposure actually it's a government guideline as per the norms immediately after dog bite as early as possible we need to give the vaccine suppose patient comes 10 days later or one month later you should not deny because you came late because it's a very slow disease slow progressive disease it may take many months time suppose it bitten in the leg it may take many months to reach the brain so incubation period is long incubation period in between if you give the vaccine there is a possibility to save the patient because of because 100% fatal disease that is the reason this for dr shivam nagpal okay right so answer is d answer is d next is yeah 62 year old man is referred to gastroenterologist because of difficulty in swallowing for past 5 months his difficulty is swallowing both solid and liquid foods but there is no associated pain he denies any shortness of breath or swelling in his legs and the swelling in his legs he immigrated from south america 10 years ago that's a clue south america 10 years ago he does not drink alcohol his physical examination unremarkable barium swallow study was ordered and result given below see esophageal manometer confirms the diagnosis this call mega esophagus mega esophagus is diagnostic of mega colon mega esophagus and he is coming from america it's called american sleeping sickness cost by trypanosoma cruzi trypanosoma cruzi it causes mega colon chagas disease this is called chagas disease mega colon mega ureter mega esophagus mega cardia many thing it causes okay sir what is the vector vector is you should know all vectors my dear vector 100% of question will come either picture or like this assassin bug otherwise called redwood bug otherwise called triatom bug otherwise called kissing bug otherwise called kissing bug sand fly for leishmania where cc fly for trypanosoma brucey deer fly for lova lova triceps deer fly for lova lova redwood bug yes 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 perfect 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 got it next is okay next is all the following are non pigmented producing non pigment producing atypical mycobacteria except except 
all the following are non pigment producing atypical mycobacteria so you must know the runyan's classification you must know the runyan's classification in the runyan classification there are two types one is uh, slow grower rapid grower in the slow grower non pigment producers mycobacterium ulcerans mycobacterium zinopi mycobacterium avium mycobacterium intracellulare Mycobacterium fortium is rapid grower but non pigment producer in this group one and only pigment producer is mycobacterium cancer c it is scotochromogen sorry photochromogen it is photochromogen it is photochromogen it produces pigment only in the presence of light only in the presence of light photochromogen identify the microfilariae shown in the image always we have a picture like this okay identify the microfilariae shown in the image see carefully here any microfilariae you should see the tail tail it is sheathed are you able to see white gap are you able to see the white gap throughout see here so it is sheathed as per my mnemonic sheath means lbw lolova burgia uchuria bancrafti tail tip extended to the tail tip a nucleus extended to the tail tip so it's lolova okay easy to remember always you have a question like this always we have a question like this always we have a question like this identify the microfilariae shown in the image burgia tail tip is having two nucleus sheathed lower lower sheathed full of nucleus answer is lower lower full of nucleus and onco circovalvulus no sheath no nucleus uchura branca tri sheath no nucleus you remember that this is important this is very important always you may have a question on this selected topics all 100% uh, we can expect question from these areas next is the main application of the culture method shown in the image what is the culture method this is called stab culture stab culture so the main function of stab culture demonstration of motility as well as remember demonstration of oxygen requirement to demonstration of motility plus oxygen requirement antibiotic susceptibility testing lawn culture pure isolation from mixed population is streak culture pure growth of isolated bacteria you can go for two way one is streak culture another one is called stroke culture stroke culture you make a stroke stroke culture slant stroke culture in slant or slant culture stroke culture or slant culture okay now the time is 9:58 we are reaching the last question yeah choose the correct match the following cells t cell with markers helper t cell everybody knows it is cd4 one is d cytotoxic t cell cd8 2f where there is df here also df here also df okay remove bn d b and d okay t regulatory cells cd25 h natural killer cell cd16 and cd56 answer is make it simple a answer is a got it
that's all that's all with this exactly now the time is 9 o'clock 8 to 9 we have seen the important the fourth one is natural killer cell is b answer is a okay with this we have completed our predator session with the important 20 questions different topics all patterns of any sit so keep your mind calm cool relax whatever you studied sufficient don't try to do some extra experiments utilize what you studied properly you analyze initiate success is based on the way how your analysis for that we need to understand the subject if you understand if you memorize in a proper way your analysis is very simple okay with this i'll close the session thank you very much god bless you